Good. Send to be ready. Their vehicle is down. We need to have lock on that for a moment. We'll do that. What's thy vehicle? What's thy vehicle? Hi guys, it's Mati Ace, and today's gameplay comes from the same stream. It starts off with me picking up this player's kit. I'm sure you know it's a mistake that many of us do, and I end up with this as far with the thermal. Oh, I and uh, I always, at, at the time that this happened, I thought that I had put on thermal on mis by mistake. I wasn't paying attention. There was so much going on. Um, the stream just started, and uh, if you want to check out the stream, if you want to see this live, just head over to my main channel. There's a link in the description. I do stream on YouTube, but not here on my secondary channel. Now, the Sphar is a weapon that I've used a bit over those, these three days that I've been playing this game again. It's not my weapon of choice for this map, but seeing this thermal scope again gives me some flashbacks back to Battlefield 3, when uh, I believe that this uh, was introduced for the first time in the Battlefield franchise. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong about that, but it was very, very controversial when uh, the thermal gave you an enormous amount of benefits at uh, any kind of range. And uh, I, uh, they, they nerfed it, and uh, I think that the thermal you see here is somewhat similar to the nerfed version of the Battlefield 3. A thermal, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Um, on this map, I think it's actually really, really good. So now, because of this experience that you see here, I decided to unlock the thermal for my AK also. And uh, it turns out that uh, the thermal is not all that good at range. It gets a bit blurry. Um, I think that for some weapons this uh, scope makes them a little bit less accurate also. I'm not entirely sure. Somebody told me that during the stream. I'm pretty sure that some of the more close or mid-range oriented assault rifles will benefit more from this thermal scope than, or sight maybe I should say, than the AK or maybe even this SVAR. Um, I, we'll see, we'll see. I'll try it out more in the future. Now, my gameplay so far has been a mixture of Boris and McKay. And uh, I'll try out the other heroes or classes or whatever you want to call it nowadays. And uh, we'll see what, <laughs> what I enjoy. But uh, so far I actually have more... Um, I'm more interested in trying out new weapons and new weapons attachments than new classes or new characters. But uh, yeah, there's a, there's a lot to try out. This game has a lot of features, I have to say. And I remember when the game came out uh, way back in 2021, I guess it was. I actually did fly a lot of he uh, heli, I did uh, some jet gameplay and tanking and all these other vehicles. I haven't done much of that over the last, uh, over these first three days going back to the game again. I've been focusing almost exclusively on infantry, but hopefully we'll get some more vehicle gameplay, maybe as early as in the next video. Funny as it is, I actually did later on during this stream find a uh, an abandoned AA vehicle. I think it was an enemy vehicle and uh, I had to fiddle around with it a little bit. I didn't even know uh, what kind of weapons I had, but eventually I got to shoot down a few helis, maybe a jet or something. Uh, we'll see if that ends up in this video, I haven't decided yet as I'm editing here. Anyway, speaking of vehicle gameplay, I randomly spawned into this LAT V4, I guess it's called, this recon vehicle. I always panic when they stop. I always feel like uh, I'm gonna get sniped out of the car or shot out of the car or hit by a rocket. Of course, it's Don't probably stop, stop, equally drive, dangerous drive, to drive around because of mines, but uh, yeah, at least I get some kind of a false sense of security when the uh, when the car or when the vehicle is moving. Stop, 
I hate it when it stops. So the game is absolutely action-packed if you just find your way in it. It can of course be very frustrating, but uh, for the most part, especially this stream, I had a lot of fun. And uh, I, I was able to find action more this time than the first time around. It, to me, it, uh, it, it seems like it's going to take a couple of days to get back into it. And uh, obviously, probably over a month, depending on how long and how intensively I play this game, to find uh, the weapons and the attachments on said weapons that fit my style. I need, I need some all-round weapons, I need some close-quarter weapons, and I need some long-range weapons now. The AK and the SFAR so far seems to be uh, serving the long-range um, purpose for the most part. Maybe I'll go with some LMGs in the future. Since I play Boris quite a bit, that's uh, apparently quite beneficial. He he benefits from LMGs. I guess McKay has assault rifles as his strongest uh, weapons or where he has his perks. Uh, if I'm wrong about that, please let me know in the comment section, but I'll uh, stick to McKay with assault rifles for the most part. And uh, maybe I'll find a uh, hero or a character for SMGs. We'll see about that. Also want to say that I am really grateful to all of you guys that have helped me out during the streams as I'm trying to get back into this game again. I have forgotten basically everything that is important to know about the weapons and the attachments and uh, the things that you have uh, uh, pointed out to me. The, um, uh, it's, it, I can tell that you guys are paying attention to how I play, uh, what I want to do, what I'm good at, what I'm bad at. I think that every weapon I'm using in this video is because of you guys and uh, the AK here it works for me and uh, what I'm doing oh now is God. this is oh when I'm trying God. to unlock the thermal for this weapon at this point I thought that yeah thermal will be perfect for the AK but uh, as I got it later on the same day I realized that nah that's not probably not for me or it's probably not for this weapon I should say oh here I'm at the very end of an AK streak uh, the round is about to finish, and I'm still wondering if uh, my aim down sight sensitivity is uh, a bit high. I haven't really figured it out. I want to have it the same as I had in Battlefield 1. I guess I gotta go back to it and check it out properly. I know there's a sight for that, among other things. Gotta remember to aim down sight even if they're close because I want that scope. So now the one thing that I'm having a really hard time with in Battlefield 2042 now, at least now in the beginning, is my gadgets and my key bindings. And here we got the rammed while being in the heli. It looks kind of cool actually. Um, when I'm trying to switch to uh, uh, the rocket or the turret or whatever it is, and I'm switching between all these characters and all these classes and whatever. I keep making mistakes all the time. Here I hold the repair key, uh, the repair tool. It serves no purpose in that situation. I should have brought out the rocket. I keep doing that. I know I, I always do that whenever I switch to a new game. It takes me a few weeks to get into it before the reflexes really get in there. Now also what I haven't really figured out is what uh, gadgets and what counter works in what situation. I've got some mine kills. Uh, that works great in some situations, I guess this rocket uh, I'm using this rocket quite a bit also even against the infantry I know it's frowned upon but I wanted to unlock the RPG which apparently is a lot better so a few more kills are needed to unlock it and here just before I died I got, I got the rocket off and I killed that uh, whatever vehicle it is so now if that previous clip didn't show it here is an even better example uh, we got uh, destroyed there in the uh, whatever play, uh, whatever heli I spawned into. I spawn on, I think it is D1, if I can see it correctly here. And uh, it, here, it would have been the perfect situation to just Why slam it with my right rocket, but I pressed the wrong key. <laughs> Again, uh, it's so frustrating, but that's what it's like for me with new games. However, I was able to redeem myself because I got a second chance here. 
and uh, luckily I was able to take it out. Now, it was only one kill that time though, but anyway, I got it. So, yeah, some of the funniest and best moments in, uh, at least in the beginning here, is probably going to be my fail moments. Yeah, I actually do have a driver's license. I know this video might give you the wrong impression. I'm surprised that this guy stayed in the car here. I thought he would actually abandon me, but uh, eventually the car self repaired. What, a, what an amazing vehicle, huh? Imagine if cars and vehicles were like yeah. that in real life. Anyway, this ride with this car actually turned out to be quite a bit of fun, so uh, check it out. Thank you, uh, helicopter coming behind us. This is probably a bad idea. To right, Max. To your right. To your right. Yeah, yeah they all at this corner. Right oh, Whoa! We got sniped from the <laughs> left. Somewhere on the tower again. Oh, he got the me with again. a fucking. Um. Yeah, what's it called? Crossbow. There is a guy over there. Now I can understand that it might seem like a bad idea to put the turret down uh, right when I spawn like that, but the fact of the matter is, uh, you never really know who's next uh, next to you or who's going to be there in just a few seconds, and uh, there isn't that much of a cooldown on the turret anyway. So if I find a better position in about a minute. I'll just replace it and move it to that position, and uh, if I die before that, well, whenever I spawn in, I have a new one. So uh, normally, I don't put that much of an emphasis on it. Not in, not in every situation, anyway. Now, probably remember that I dropped a few mines there. One of the things that I've been wondering about is if I die when the mines are down and I spawn in with something else, will the mines still remain or? Do they die? Do they uh, despawn when I die? If anybody knows, let me know in the comment section. Because in Battlefield One, um, yeah, the, the mines will stay until they get blown up, regardless of you are alive or not. But that one, that was a quad with the mines. So uh, those mines were definitely worth it. So remember how I'm so grateful that you guys give me tips about uh, this game, whatever it is. One of the things that you guys uh, tipped me about was that I should unlock the RPG, which I need to uh, get some kills with this rocket in order to do. Now the RPG is supposedly better for a variety of reasons, I'm not entirely sure why, if it's faster, more damage, whatever it is, but I want it and I'm willing to do a little bit of lame gameplay in order to get it. I need to unlock the RPG guys. Unlock coming. <laughs> Alright, so time for a new weapon. Another one of those fast fire rates 
called AM40. Um, I did have some good gameplay with it. First you have to see me unlock uh, some of the attachments. Here it's all just the default. Um, not entirely sure if I prefer this over the AEK. They are somewhat similar, I guess. Well, they're fast fire rate compared to the AK anyway, but uh, I'm not sure how many other similarities they have. Uh, the recoil patterns seem to be somewhat similar. It, they're very, they're quite easy to handle, actually. The only problem I have with this weapon is that I run out of bullets so fast, and uh, I guess I'll learn to moderate it if I uh, play with it a little bit more. But uh, during the first clips here, I just went through the magazine instantly, just firing it away. And uh, well, it's all good and well unless another guy shows up when you have to load. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? Overrun by a tank? Stupid tank just pushes <laughs> me into bloody enemy. Oh, yeah. Alright, let me. Uh, okay, it was a good weapon. Thanks for the tip. Who was it again? Assembling sentry! Now don't let this footage fool you. I had no idea that I would be able to make it back on the map in time before dying from being out in the dead zone too long. Now I'm here because I want to kill a tank and uh, well this is how it went. So yeah, as you can tell, this AM40 is clearly a weapon for close and close mid-range combat situations, but if you tap fire with it and control it right, you can actually deal damage at quite long range also. I would of course benefit from having attachments that are good for long range, but I haven't really put any thought into that in this gameplay as of yet. So now here at the very end of the video, uh, obviously also at the very end of the stream, I decided to replace the explosives with the armor plates. I'm not sure if this is uh, my way of playing the game, not having any rockets or C5, but uh, the way it is in uh, Battlefield 2042, it's kind of slower than I'm used to. Many times it gets me killed just switching to it, so this might actually be better. Well, it depends on the map, it depends on the situation, and if it's better for you, I guess it depends on your playstyle and what you're good, respectively bad at. Thank you for watching, and please check out my stream on my main channel as well. I hope I'll see you there. Bye for now. Oh no! Oh, that ammo box! Here we go. You're gonna camp that. Oh. An idiot. Stay away. 
<laughs> it's like a, a corridor on the extreme side and then you zip line at the end of it, it's the only way up and he's just sitting there pointing his gun at it. <laughs> it's like, 